How much do you know about the five big ideas in teaching for mastery? We spoke to Dr. Debbie Morgan, MCETM's Director for Primary, to talk all things variation. I would say that it's influencing the way children think about mathematics by drawing attention to essential structures, concepts, relationships in mathematics. Its aim is to draw attention to the mathematics and we do that by what we keep the same and what we change. We take what we've previously learnt and build on that learning. So that it's about building concepts. And why should I be using variation in my maths lessons? First and foremost, you can improve the progress that children make and also you can improve the quality of, of learning. It's about providing access to all. It's not easy teaching with variation, but I think there are many positives in terms of the progress children make, in terms of the depth of understanding and in terms of how accessible the lessons are. What are your top tips for using variation in the classroom? First, give consideration of where you start a topic. That's absolutely crucial. So that that starting point is accessible to all. And often that starting point may be two steps back from what your scheme or materials suggest. So you need to make that judgment for your class as to where you start. What we want is to get all children on the bus and then through the small steps and building the concept with depths and rigor and making it accessible that they stay on the bus, but they can't stay on the bus if they're not on the bus in the first place. It's absolutely crucial at the start of a topic to ensure that it's accessible to all. And what about the pace of the learning? There can also be a perceived challenge that maybe the pace is too slow for some children, but it's not going to do any harm spending time on the detail of a concept and each step. And so we don't risk the gaps appearing in learning, even for our, our higher attaining children. Teachers may feel pressured to cover the curriculum. What I would say in result of that is actually, if we teach something well the first time, then maybe there's less reteaching. So there's that payoff. So how would you summarize variation? Variation has the potential to really make a difference and close that attainment gap. It can be thought of as the magic within the teaching, making the learning accessible, making the children think deeply about the concept and making sure you keep, using my phrase, start by getting children on the bus, keep them on the bus, through those small, connected, deep, rigorous, rigorous steps that you're referring to that are accessible to all. It's not easy, but it's well worth the investment because it can make an enormous difference to, to all children's progress and also their confidence as they develop as mathematicians. Great. Thanks, Debbie. If you want to learn more about variation, read the full Q&A in our feature. For more information about teaching for mastery and the five big ideas, visit our website.